Hey guys, Whipchip here. So as you guys all know, Ninjago Season 14, The Island, finished airing in French over the weekend. I've had some time to watch it some more and sort of process my thoughts, and there's one thing that I can't seem to shake, and that is why the Keepers of the Amulet, or the Keepers, are the worst Ninjago villains, period. Let's start. So first, we have the whole, like, the big twist. Now, of course, there's going to be spoilers ahead, so make sure you click off if you haven't watched it. Trust me, it's a better idea if you do and watch it in English. But the big twist at the end that is revealed is that Ronan is actually tricking these keepers into handing him treasure to, I guess, for him to steal and then return later for money. Now, I personally really dislike this because it makes the keepers feel stupid and ignorant. It makes them really feel like just dummies that don't really know what fake wood is or investigate what it is. So I don't know, that just makes me feel like they're useless. And especially how there's such a big presence in the sets, it's like now they're sort of just like worthless because it's like, well, they're not really bad guys. You know what I mean? It's sort of like the hunters from season, uh, the dragon hunters from season nine. It's sort of like at the end, it's like, well, cool. I can't really have them hunting dragons anymore. Or even more, the uh, the Geckles and the Munts from Season 13. In the end, it's like, how am I supposed to do it? What am I supposed to do with these guys? Because they're not really bad guys in the TV show. I don't know. That's just my theory. Or that's just my opinion. I don't really like that. So it's the same thing with the Keepers, but even worse. Because there really isn't a bad guy in this. Ronan isn't a bad guy. So to see him do this to the Keepers makes the Keepers more seem like they're just so stupid that they were able to get tricked by such a petty thief. This really makes the Keepers feel very two-dimensional to me. However, just like every other Ninjago villain, the Keepers have their pluses. First off, they have an absolutely amazing design, every single one of them. Their lightning-filled bodies just look amazing. They also, like I said in my non-studs or studs video, that they're they, they all have great hair pieces usage none of them are bald so that's a really big plus again and also just the whole color scheme of them their whole tribal village their tribal appearances the fire the flames the water the jungle it all looks so good so even though in my opinion these guys have got to be some of the worst ninjago villains they're definitely aren't bad by any stretch of the imagination unlike some other movies and film this, these guys are actually really good. My only problem is that I feel like they could have been developed a little bit more. Maybe have someone like Faith from Hunted, or I don't know, someone like with some more, a little bit more personality. But who knows, maybe there could be from the English version. But yeah, these guys are definitely really cool villains, and I sort of want to see some more of them. I feel like Ninjago can do really big things with them. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys all so much for watching, and have a great day.